Today's video is on five secret rooms found in houses. Number five, the Underground Railway. Alexandra Poulos of Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, always had a feeling that her house had a secret room in it since her family bought it in 1974, but it was only in 2016 that she found out the truth. She took the opportunity of repair works in the basement to ask the contractor to dig beneath the lower level to see if there was anything hidden beneath. To everyone's surprise, she had been right all along. They found a secret room that was 14 feet deep, 8 feet wide, and 15 feet long. It's believed that this room was used by the Underground Railway, which helped slaves escape from their southern masters. Similar rooms have been found in other nearby properties, and because of the necessity to keep them so well hidden, it's thought that there could be many more still to be discovered. Number 4. Nazi Artifacts In 2017, police in Buenos Aires made a gruesome find in a home just outside the city, a hidden treasure room behind a bookcase that contained more than 75 artifacts thought to have come from a high-ranking official in Nazi Germany. There were toys and instruments, including a box of harmonicas, that were emblazoned with swastikas to indoctrinate children, a magnifying glass, and photos showing Hitler using that exact object and many, many other items such as jigsaw puzzles, building blocks, a knife, a set of medical devices, and military equipment. The find was a part of an investigation into artworks of mysterious origin, which led authorities to this collector's home. It was hoped that the discovery of this secret room could be a big step towards preventing trade in such restricted items. Number 3. A Catholic Chapel In 2010, while the Farla family were celebrating Good Friday in their home in Shropshire in the UK, they decided to investigate a metal grid in the floor that had been a mystery to them ever since they had moved in. After pulling it aside, there was just enough room for them to squeeze through the hole, and on the other side, they found a small cellar that resembled a chapel. At the center was a wooden cross that appeared to have fallen to the floor and begun to rot away. There were hooks attached to the ceiling that may have been used to hang meat, and there was a damp cloth to one side. Furthermore, there were what appeared to be brick seats around the walls, and there were stairs on the other side to the entrance which they found led up to the cupboard in the main house. Research into the house showed that it was at least 230 years old, which meant the room could date back to the 1700s. At the time, it was illegal to be a Catholic in the country, so it's thought likely that this room was used as a hideaway for people to worship and evade their fear of persecution and execution. Number 2. World War II Hideout In 2013, a group of Norwegian students thought that their new landlord was joking when he said that the house they were moving into had a secret room in it. But after ignoring their studies and dedicating their time to the search, they couldn't believe what they found. In the dark and run-down attic, they discovered a shaky wood panel in the wall at the back. Having realized it moved, they pushed it again, and it opened up to reveal a small room. It was incredibly small, and hardly a place where you'd expect a person to have lived. But some of the items that they found in there hinted at the somber truth behind its purpose. At the entrance was a note that said, if you have a bad stomach, you do not have access. And there was an alarm wired to the wall that acted as a warning light. There was also a torn map on the wall of Southern Britain and Northern France, and a solitary white shoe from a doll. It became clear to the students that this was once a hideout during the Second World War, possibly for an entire family who were trying to avoid discovery. Stuck within such a tight space and with only a small table and a couple of cushions between them, this was an extremely uncomfortable place for a group of people to live. But in the face of what they could have experienced during the war, they had very little choice. Recesses like this have been found across Europe and show what lengths people had to go to as the German armies advanced. Number 1. The Parisian Treasure Trove Not all secret rooms are dark, 
empty and confined spaces. And in 2010, a group of experts were sent to investigate a long-forgotten Parisian flat, which they found contained a number of valuable treasures. The apartment had been locked for more than 70 years after its owner, Mrs. de Florian, fled France at the beginning of the Second World War and never returned. Mysteriously, the rent continued to be paid for all that time, and it was only when she died at the age of 91 that the job of creating an inventory of her possessions could begin. From the moment they opened the dusty door, the experts knew this was something special. It was filled with cobwebs, and one of the first people who entered described it as like stumbling into the castle of Sleeping Beauty, where time had stood still since 1900. It smelt of old dust, but it was the objects that began to stand out. There was a beautiful dressing table, a stuffed ostrich, and even a pre-war Mickey Mouse toy. But it was a tableau that excited the experts the most. Found to have been painted by Boldini, it was an image of his muse and the grandmother of the woman who had left the apartment abandoned. The work had never been exhibited, so it took a great deal of research to prove who it was by. But finally, a book by the artist's window was found that said it was painted in 1898 by Boldini, and it was entered into auction. With a guide price of 300,000 euros, the painting actually sold for 2.1 million euros, the equivalent to $2.35 million, which was a world record price for the artist and the most valuable item to have ever been found in a secret room. Honorable Mentions, The Winchester Mystery House. The Winchester Mansion was built by an heir to the Winchester gun fortune, and through her troubled life, she spent $5.5 million and 36 years renovating her eight-room farmhouse. By the time she died, the house had sprawled to contain more than 160 rooms, 40 bedrooms, 10,000 windows, and two basements. But not all was it seemed with the mansion. Not all of the 2,000 doors led to a room, with one leading to an 8-foot drop into a kitchen sink, and another leading to a 15-foot drop into the garden. There are staircases leading to ceilings, countless secret corridors, and occasionally new rooms are found, despite the custodians of the house thinking they had charted the entire place. Now a popular attraction for ghost hunting tours, who knows what else lays hidden within the Winchester Mansion that's waiting to be discovered. The Ominous Warning A couple who moved into their new house in Greenville, South Carolina in 2007 started doing what every new homeowner would. They investigated every part of the house. The problem was they found something that made them regret their purchase and led them to suing the people who had sold it to them. Behind one of the bookcases, they found a secret room, and to their horror, it was completely covered in mold. Inside, there was a note that said, You found it! and went on to explain how a previous owner had to leave the house because the problem with the mold had made their children ill. Upon investigation by an expert, the mold was found to be toxic black mold, and the new owners took their realtor to court, claiming there was no way they couldn't have known about this issue. The Underground City In 1963, a man was renovating his home in the Turkish province of Nevsihir when he uncovered not just a single room, but an entire hidden city. He knocked through one of his walls and found a passage behind that led into what is now known to be the ancient underground city of Derinkuyu. Underground cities used to be commonplace in the region that, because of its unique terrain that had been formed from volcanic ash, is fairly easy to dig through. At least six of these cities have been found so far, but Dainikyu is by far the largest, having 18 levels, enough space for as many as 20,000 people.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.